At times, it may be helpful for design comments to be more graphical. In this session, we'll look at how to create markups using BIM 360 Team. I'd like to start by selecting a project. I'll choose this one called Fish Pond Road Improvements. And then I'm responsible for reviewing some of the plan sheets. So let's jump to the plan sheets directory. And let's take a look at plan and profile sheet one. This is a DWF file printed from Civil 3D. To review the sheet, I'm going to roll the mouse wheel forward to zoom in. I will then hold the wheel down to pan. And as I look at the sheet, I can see that I have a low spot here in the proposed grading on either side of the road. We'll need a way to address stormwater in this area. So let me pan this down. Rather than creating a simple comment, I would like to be a little more graphical in my notation. Let's create a markup. To do that, I'll come down to the toolbar and I'll click the markup button. Here we can see all of the markup tools. To the left side here, you can see that we can create several shapes as well as some freehand line work. I can also create text. If I click the line style button, I can control the color of the markup and the line width. I'd like to start by creating some text. I'll click the text button. Once I've selected text, you can see this now becomes text style. If I click this button, this is where we can control the text size. I'm going to go with large text and then I will click on screen and then I'll add my note. We'll probably need to have a culvert in this area. When I'm finished with my note, I'll click on screen. If I want to adjust this note, I can click on it later. You can see a series of grips. I can use these to change the size of my text area. I can also click and hold to place this text wherever I like. I'm going to go ahead and put it here. And then once again, I'll click on screen to confirm. In addition to placing this note, I'd kind of like to draw what I'm looking for. I'm going to start by drawing a culvert. I'll come down and choose rectangle. And then I will click and hold. We'll drag out a rectangular shape when I release. Notice we get the same grips. I can use these to resize that geometry. I can also click this round grip to adjust its rotation. That looks good. Let me click on screen to confirm. I'm going to come down and click freehand as well. And maybe we can rough in some of the proposed contours that I'm looking for. I'll just click, hold, and drag. We'll put in a 635 contour. Let me click. I'll click, hold, and drag. We'll bring this one down as well. Note that any of these items can be edited later by simply hovering and clicking. If we look down at the toolbar, you can see that I can delete any of the items as well. I also have an undo option down here. I also have standard clipboard functionality. I can cut, copy, and paste these objects if I'd like to create duplicates. Let me click to confirm that one, and we'll create a quick 636 contour. And I'll create one more. And let me create one more contour here for 634. There we go, that looks good for now. Once I've completed my markup, I'll drag this text over a little bit closer. And when I'm totally finished, I'll come down and click Save. This saves the markup to the sheet. Let me come up and click the Comments pane. And you can see right here that a markup is really nothing more than a graphical comment. You're essentially adding an illustration to your notation. Let's close the comment pane. I'll pan this over. I'd like to add one more markup. I seem to recall when we were having the kickoff meeting for this project that there was a utility map that showed a fiber optic line in this area. I'm not seeing that line showing up on the sheet. So let me come down and create a markup for that. I will create a freehand line. We'll just drag this down, and then I'd like to add a text note. I'm going to go with the default text size this time. I've seen a utility map that shows a fiber optic line in this area. Can we confirm the location? I will then drag out the text box to make it a little bit larger, and then I'll click on screen. If I really want to go old school, we can put an arrow on this, and I can add a revision cloud. Let me click on screen to confirm that geometry, and then I'll click Save to save my markup. Once again, we'll go back over to the Comments pane, and we can see the second markup is over here as well. Just like with other comments, the members of the design team have all been notified of these notations. I'm going to jump back to the Plan Sheets folder, and then we'll assume that we got an email mentioning these proposed comments. I'm going to select Plan and Profile Sheet 1. When I open the sheet, I can see the markups. I can then zoom in and review them. I could also open the Comments pane and select the markups from here to jump to that area on the page. After looking at the markup, I can add a reply. I'm going to go ahead and reply to my own markup. I agree. I'll get this taken care of first thing tomorrow. And I'll choose Post when finished. Now that I'm finished reviewing this page, I'll go ahead and close the pane. 
and I'll return to the top level project folder. So if the time comes that your review comments require a little more illustration, BIM 360 Team provides a collection of tools for creating red line markups. Using the markup tools can be a perfect way to add more color to your commentary. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.